Hey everyone, it's Amy with Amy in the Kitchen. And um, for today's video, I wanted to show you um, a recent post that I did for preserved lemons. I wanted to give you the instructions in a video on how to do it. Um, it's really, really simple. And if you haven't ever used preserved lemons, they are very, very versatile. Um, basically, it's just lemons with salt that's been packed down in their juices and left to sit for about 30 days. Um, it softens the lemon. And then when you wanna add lemon flavor to say a marinade or some kind of chicken dish, a sauce, um, salad dressing, um, soup, I mean, it, it's just, really nice to have on hand because um, a lot of times if you want something with a lemon flavor and you don't have any lemons um, and you're going to be making a savory type of dish this is in your fridge you can just go grab it and you'll have the lemons that you need so anyway let me um, show you how easy it is to to make this jar so um, i like to use the wide mouth ball jars because um, they're just easier to get my hand in. Um, you can use any type of jar, but this is just the one that I prefer. Um, I also get these plastic lids. Um, I get these at Walmart or my grocery store um, instead of using the uh, canning lids. This is just a great way to store stuff. I use this for just about everything. Um, so you can use... Um, I'm using a pint jar, but you can use a bigger one if you want. This is just what I like to keep in my fridge. So we're going to um, start out. You, all you need is uh, lemons and salt, and I use kosher salt. Um, so what you want to do is all these have been washed, and depending on how big your lemons are, are, are going to, you know, decide how many you're gonna get in each jar. So what you wanna do is we're gonna leave one of the ends intact, okay? You're going to cut it. Into quarters. But as you can see, one of the ends is still intact. So it all stays together. Um, what you're going to want to do is I usually, let me just go ahead and measure out a quarter cup of salt. For this size jar, this is about how much you're going to use. It may be more or less, but, um, now this is a little bit of a messy job, but that's why I have the, uh, the, um, towel down and everything. I start out, I just sprinkle a little bit of salt in the bottom of the jar. And then you want to take the salt and you want to put it all over the inside of the lemon. And just coat it. You're trying to coat the lemon. Then you want to take the lemon and plop it in and push down because you want to get the juices to start flowing. And the salt is going to actually help with that. So, again, just be very careful, obviously, not to cut yourself. Um, like I said, just take that salt and sprinkle it all in there. Very careful. Every time you put one in, you want to press down really, really well. And as you can see, I hope that you can see, the juices are already starting to, to come out. right there. So 
Sorry about my background noise. Let me see if I can move my canner. I got my canner down there. That's what you're hearing. Rattling all around there. Okay, maybe that'll be a little bit better. Um, and let's see, I've got three lemons. These are kind of smaller. I don't know about you, but when I go to the grocery store, the lemons are gigantic. So I think in my, my last jar, I was only able to get about three lemons in there. Um, so this one, and hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna make sure you can see that in the camera real quick. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'll try to get a close up. Okay, so that's a little bit closer up. Let me do one more lemon. Uh, let me get the smallest one that I have here because it is getting to the top here. Let's see, I am. Like I said, this is kind of a messy little job, but I mean, hey, it's pretty easy to clean up. All right. So, hopefully you can see all that juice that's coming out when I press down. Okay, so you can see that the, the fruit wants to come up. I, I'm honestly not sure if you have to do this, but what I like to do is um, I'll just go ahead and um, put the juice of some more lemons in there just to get this filled up as high as I can. I do want that to be covered. Okay, so that looks good. You can see, look at the amount of juice that comes out of those lemons just from squeezing them with the salt. All right, let me go grab a, um, a clean rag so I can uh, wipe the rim of this and uh, we'll put the top on. And then um, I'll show you some other uh, lemon pres or preserved lemons that I have actually pureed and kind of how I use those. All right, you guys, so this is the final um, product after I have um, packed this pint jar with the lemon and salt. You can see that it's full of its own juices. There's no water or anything added to it. I've put the, uh, the top on. I, I cleaned up the jar on the outside so it's not sticky or anything, and I'll put the top on. And then what I'll do is I'll set this out on my counter in my kitchen, and as part of my daily routine when I get up in the morning, um, I make my coffee, I feed my sourdough starter, and I pick up my jar of preserved lemons, I give it a, a shake, make sure that it's not leaking or anything like that, uh, and I set it back on the counter. And I do that for 30 days. And then once the 30 days is up, they're ready to use and you can stick them in your fridge and just you know take them out whenever you need them. So one of the things I was gonna show you is I store two um, jars of preserved lemons in my fridge one like this where I can pull it out and chop them up as needed. And then I have another one that I've pureed. So I wanted to show you that. So this is my pureed uh, lemons. And let me get a spoon so I can pull some of that out and let you see what that looks like. All I did with this is I literally dumped the entire jar 
of lemons with the, the salt and everything um, into a blender and blended it into this puree. So you can see that, let me move this, you can see that. Okay, see, it's just a really thick puree. It's got all the salt, the lemon rinds, everything's in here. So this I put in soups, I put in marinades, anything that I just want some salty lemon. If I'm gonna put salt and I'm gonna put lemon in it, this is what I'm using. One of the good things about having this um, lemon pureed, you know, preserves, is that anytime that I'm gonna cook with a recipe and it needs lemon, and like I said, it's a savory lemon, obviously, because it's got salt. Um, I don't have to worry about going to the store to grab lemons. I can just go in my fridge and, um, and use this. For the ones that are not pureed, let me see if I can take one of these out <clears throat> without making a, a huge, huge mess. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. I'm gonna make sure that my, my camera is in focus really quick, hold on. This is a little bit messy, but it's worth it. Okay, so here is what the lemon looks like after it's been you know, in the, the salt brine for 30 days. Uh, you can see it's it's a real light, much lighter color. Um, and the, the peel and everything is really, really soft. So what you would wanna do, depending on your recipe, um, this is very salty, so you may want to rinse this off. Just go rinse it off in the, in the water. And then if a recipe calls for chopped lemon, you just, chop it up and you use it just like you would some lemon so i mean it's it's so easy and the lemon peels with the oils and everything that that are in there just really develop a, a real rich intense lemon flavor it's kind of hard to um, describe all right, you guys, so that wraps it up for this video on how to preserve lemons. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you share this on Facebook and Pinterest so that other people can learn how to preserve lemons too. So until the next video, have a great day. Bye.